You know, when I was a kid, I remember my granddad telling me about steam explosions on the railroad because he worked for the railroad and how it would just kill people. Them old steam engines would blow up. And uh, never saw one until this last winter. And this right here is a steam explosion. This is from Pex Pipe. So I'm very, very glad to have Pex Pipe. Now, the way that this happened was there was a safety device in the system that failed. And um, there was another issue before that that caused that to fail. So what happened was the water last winter froze and we had no water in the house. Well, this, go this is one of the pipes that leads up to the, f the wood stove that we used to heat the water with. Well, when the water froze up, there was no more water pressure in the lines and the water pump wasn't able to push the water through the uh, wood stove to circulate the water around to heat it up. And um, first couple of times the pop-off valve, the temperature pressure valve popped off and it worked fine the way it was intended to, but uh, because I kept burning a fire, well, all of the pieces in there that cause it to operate properly got overly hot and it just wouldn't work anymore. So the next time I started a fire, the water that was in that tube started to turn to steam and expand. And the pop-off valve was just locked in where it was locked in to be closed. And the pressure built up until that happened. And that sounded like a shotgun going off in my house. This is another reason I love PEX, because if this had been metal piping, there could have been shrapnel all over the house. But because it's PEX, uh, it picked once, and, it, and this has happened a couple times before. It always happens in this same pipe, so I'm happy about that. I don't have to crawl under the house. This is right underneath the fireplace. And um, so now that I've got my new water line ditched in, I shouldn't ever have any more freezing problems. Now I'm going to replace this, and I'll show you what it looks like underneath the wood stove and how I do to replace it. So come on in and join me. Last winter I had a steam explosion here and uh, what the problem was is I had this valve had tripped a couple of times this uh, over temperature pressure valve and that happened because the water froze up in the house and when the water froze up there wasn't any pressure so the pump wasn't able to circulate the water through and this tripped multiple times causing it to fail. And so I ended up with that steam explosion in that pipe I just showed you that's down here. Um, so right now I've got to... Okay, and then this is the pipe here that's normally attached to this pressure valve. And um, so I've got it disconnected. And this is the pipe here that I showed you just a minute ago that blew up. So I've got to replace that. I'm going to use this uh, four inch grinder. And I just use that just to grind off the rings, the crimp rings off the fittings. And a little bit down into the plastic as well to help weaken it so I can pull it off the fitting. But I'm very careful to not grind down to the fitting itself because it has ridges in it that I don't want to grind down. So I'm going to take those off now.
Alright, that's got that one off. There it is. Okay, now this pipe below, because I can't really get my PEX crimper down there, I'm gonna attach it from this pipe first, and then I'll put one end of the PEX pipe on this first, and then I'll put the other end on, and then I'll go behind the stove to crimp that. Washer, rubber washer still looks good. And uh, this crimper set, I got this for about $30, I think, off of like eBay or someplace like that. And of course, that was like four or five years ago, so they could be more or less now, I don't know. And then these crimp, crimp rings, I just picked them up at my own local hardware store. Got a bag of uh, 25, I think. This one's not perfectly round, so it's not going on very easily. I don't know if you can tell that or not. So sometimes you get them kind of a little out of round, and sometimes you can fix them, and sometimes you can't. So now I'll just put this on. I'm ready to crimp that. perfectly centered, that it's not crooked, crimp that dude down, and it's ready to use right now. That's, you don't have to wait for glue to dry or anything. I love X, it's awesome. So now I'll put this on. I guess I better put a crimp ring on there first. All right. Well, I didn't have the, the camera set to record, but I reattached the pipes up here and that's all I did. And then I turned my valves on and bled the water out of, out of uh, the system with this pop-off valve that I had replaced. And uh, 
So anyway, I've got like two or three of these in the shed that I've got. And uh, now that I've got the water line redone, hopefully I won't have any more frozen pipes which lead to failed pop-up valves, which lead to steam explosions. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next week, or next month, or whenever I get to it. I always answer questions whether posted publicly or privately. See you then.